welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the second episode of Minimize with Mel. Today we are sitting in front of my vanity table and we've got some drawers over here because we're going to go through makeup, beauty and skincare, all of that kind of stuff. It is looking like a total mess but my whole point for doing this series is this is realistic, this is just what happens over time. This is probably a similar looking thing to a lot of other people and I don't want to be unrealistic and like tidying this stuff and like pre-tidying it so that you think oh no this is what I'm like all the time. Like this is just what happens with a buildup of makeup over time and it is totally normal. So I really hope you've enjoyed last week's video where we went through the wardrobe. Today we're obviously going to look at makeup so whether you want to join in and start going through your stuff with me or whether you just want to hang out and have a cup of tea. I've got mine sitting over here and have a little chat. You're also more than welcome, we're gonna go through loads of stuff, have little chats in between, bit of banter as usual. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside it too and that'll let you know whenever videos are uploaded. I'm trying to do these once a week as well as another video in between related to minimalism or budgeting or tips and tricks, all that kind of stuff. So you should expect two videos a week from me. And if you can give this video a thumbs up as well, it just lets me know if you guys are enjoying the series, if you wanna see more of it and it really does help me out figure out what you guys are enjoying on the channel. So you might be thinking this is a little bit of a weird angle but we're kind of sitting you're sitting on my bed at the minute like I have limited room in my bedroom it's not huge so you're set up on my bed I am kneeling on the floor which is probably not the most comfortable that I've ever been and uh, it's kind of set this way because otherwise the camera would be in this mirror here and that would really really bug me. So for quite a few years I have been quite into makeup and skincare and definitely going towards a more natural route like a lot of my stuff still isn't because it's, it's very very pricey but you'll see as we go along. So my boyfriend whenever I moved in here made me this lovely little vanity table. It's the best thing that I've had. He's gonna make me a little stool as well to go along with it and it fits pretty much everything I have. Now I have so much makeup and skincare that some of it's actually in this little grey thing just at the corner of the shot there so I'm going to go through that too. So I think what I'm going to do with the vanity table is I'm actually going to go through and sort out, I want to take everything off it and then put it back on so kind of similar to what we did with the wardrobe but I'm going to do that in a little bit more of an organised fashion just because I think it'll be a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is go through each item um, on the bed here. I'm gonna keep everything quite visible so that you can see. Now I have downsized this once back whenever I was living with my parents and it was crazy. Like I used to work at Superdrug and we did a lot of makeup and I was really, really into makeup, especially whenever I was at uni, just going into uni all around that time. And I bought ridiculous amounts of makeup. Like it turned out whenever I started to adjust my spending and figure out where I was spending money, that makeup was a huge portion of it and since then I have cut down significantly and a lot of that has actually had to do with not only spending less but how I'm feeling like honestly guys like apart from doing this kind of stuff and whenever I go out for dinner or out with friends like I am wearing minimal minimal makeup which is huge for me considering that I was always so nervous about going out with hardly any makeup on like foundation for me was a big cover up because um, I've always had like acne and stuff I have PCOS so my skin would always break out and I really really didn't want anyone to see that and I was really really self-conscious so I used to wear foundation every single day full face of makeup every single day would not even go to the shop without full face of makeup on that thankfully has has gone now my confidence has definitely gone up a little bit and it's not even confidence i think it's more that i just don't care anymore which i love it's such a freeing feeling when you don't give a f <laughs> so what i do now most days like maybe five days out of seven is i'll put a little bit of concealer on a little teeny bit of contour a little bit of powder on my like eyebrows maybe some eyeliner but eyeshadow like really not that much i try to keep the foundation to a minimum i used to have tons and tons of foundations I don't even have those anymore so the first time I did this the first time I went through it back whenever I lived with my parents it was crazy because I had so much makeup there was stuff that I just hadn't even used or I'd maybe used like a little bit of eyeshadow out of one palette and maybe you know a lot of it was like tube stuff I managed to give like an entire bag of makeup to my sister um, and a couple of friends as well I think then I had this entire big bag to go in the bin and then I still had a huge amount left and I'm realizing now that I still have a huge amount like I have one face I have two eyes I do not need 15 eye palettes like I've got a lot of stuff at the minute and see once you get, get into minimizing and into a system of doing this kind of thing like honestly if you stick with this you'll find it easier and easier and easier as you go along and you'll do this maybe you'll decide to go over everything again and you'll find that on the second stint you're a lot less attached to stuff and it just becomes so much easier to get rid of stuff. I know 
a lot of this stuff is going to end up going it's going to look like a gross amount going to the bin but a lot of it is stuff that i've had sitting around for a really long time so you do it i do it everyone does it we all know that on the back of products there's like a little jar and it'll say like 12 months or 24 months everybody out there probably has stuff that's sitting on their shelf that just shouldn't be anymore and i know i have a lot of stuff that is probably expired that is going to go out today so in the end this might look like a disgusting amount of stuff that i'm going to throw out but a lot of it's just been sitting too long and really needs to go so i'm going to get a sip of tea here and i'm going to get stuck in and start going through this stuff if you're wondering what this stuff is doing here like why there's dog stuff sitting on my table my dog comes in and her little bed sits down beside my bed and every night um she has trachea collapse so she has to get an inhaler almost every night if it's bad then she gets a little bit more and then she always gets treats after that so we have our little nightly routine so it's just handy for me to have this stuff here so it will be going back here at the end but I'll set it aside for now because it's not really related to makeup or skincare. Okay so I'm gonna get stuck in and just kind of start sifting through some of this stuff so I'm gonna move you around just so you can see kind of what I'm doing and what I'm going through a little bit clearer. So just as I'm going through this stuff here, I've come across this. Now this, to most people, empty, done. What's even the point of keeping this, right? But this isn't overly that old. It's something that I just use every day. And I wanna show you a little trick if you use like tubes and stuff like this to get the most out of it because these kind of things are expensive and you may as well get the most out of it if you can. So, right, you open it like this, you find it hard, well, there actually is some stuff on the dough fit there. You find it hard to go in and get stuff off the dough fit. So what to do is grab a thin little brush like this, go in and you will be surprised, like look at this, at the amount of product that comes out from the bottom of these tubes. So just a little tip to try and get the most out of your makeup, I'm gonna put that in because I actually don't need it right now. Um, is to do stuff like this. So, I mean, that's something that I'll get not long out of. I think I've actually ordered a new one. And also tubes like this, if you can't squeeze anything out of it anymore, cut the corners off. I cut too much of this off and it's dried out and needs to go in the bin now. You'll see it in my empties, but cut the corners of these off and squeeze the end of it out. You will get a lot more product out of these than you even think. And you, you don't need to get rid of them when you think you need to get rid of them. You can keep them a little bit longer. So yeah, just a little quick tip in between doing this. top section totally done you want to see the amount of stuff like I'm not going to show you until the end but the amount of stuff on my bed already is crazy I've organized it all but I thought I'd take a second to show you these now these are going to be a lot emptier but these are really really great little like drawers and ways to keep like you can keep like lipsticks and stuff in this little one here and they're really really cool storage devices for makeup so I just thought I would show you these. I got these off of Amazon and I'll leave a wee link in the description box below in case you're interested in them just because it's really handy. They're clear so you can see everything and it's a really good way of storing. Like those are all lip liners and lipsticks and stuff. And this one, I think this one I keep eye products and stuff. Like a lot of this stuff is going to go. You'll see them at the end, but I thought maybe I'll run through to you guys. That must be cheek and face. I haven't gone on the in these in a long time. This is foundation. This is one I use a lot, foundations and samples underneath. Um, and then this one I keep like lipsticks, concealers, bits and bobs. I thought I'd show you these all now up close just so you can really get, just so you can really see at the end how different everything's gonna be. So those are nose rings, a little mirror, more nose rings, a cute little badge. Look at him. Okay. Um, got some strobe I actually won those Barry M strobe creams in a competition I think um hair bubbles I made this <laughs> this is one of the first patches I made ages ago I have no idea why he's in there um I think this one is jewelry yeah I've got some jewelry and bits and bobs in there I'll probably still use that for that but uh I just wanted to show you guys this just so I can show you at the end this is where I keep eyeshadow palettes and like contour palettes and stuff like that I also have in this bottom drawer over here um, I have loads of those in there, so I'm gonna pull all those out too. I wonder if I should actually show you, I'll show you these drawers as well, just because these are really messy and I'm gonna go through those. So that's like cotton pad. These, I hate these, and I have something in the works to do with that. I'm not gonna give away too much because I like to be secretive, um, but if you hang around, that could get interesting. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. What's in here, we've got, like bits in here, 
kind of more junk makeup junk that's a toothbrush holder for traveling and then here this is all like eyeshadow, pa eyeshadow palettes and there's two face palettes as well so a lot i think nearly all of these are gonna go um it's a crazy amount for one person so yeah here we go okay so table's empty drawers are all empty this gray thing over here empty what i'm gonna do now is give this a bit of a clean down it's makeup makeup stuff gets everywhere that's just how it happens so i'm gonna clean this whole little desk each of these little drawers and i'm gonna turn you around now <laughs> and show you this stuff like i actually feel a little bit ashamed because i did not realize how much stuff there actually was now this is why i really 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 highly recommend taking everything out putting it out on your bed on your floor wherever you choose to do because then you can see how freaking ridiculous the amount of stuff that you have is now i did say at the beginning i was a massive makeup junkie and i really meant that and you're going to see that but i've actually sectioned this down differently than what i said i was going to do at the start because i had to just kind of to give you a little bit more of a rundown of everything so i'm going to turn you around and show you this stuff now let me know in the comments if you guys want me to kind of go more in depth about what makeup i use what skincare i use all that kind of stuff because you're going to get to see a little bit of it now but we don't have the time to go through everything so if that's something you're interested in definitely let me know in the comments so uh here we go i'm actually like so mortified this is all my makeup stuff everything from those drawers from the vanity table isn't that freaking horrendous <laughs> so i'm gonna kind of go through and talk you through a little bit of what each of these little piles are and it looks like it doesn't make sense but it does make sense so this stuff is stuff that i use pretty much every day it's skincare stuff so got like cuticle butter this stuff by the way i know i'm not going to go into like big details about makeup and skincare and stuff but i had like in large pores that were doing my freaking head in this pixie rose tonic it's vegan cruelty free all that good stuff and i swear i did not change anything else and i started using this and it's made a massive difference to my pores um, and it's great at removing those last little bits of makeup so i'm not going to go into too much stuff like i said if you want that let me know in the comments but this is stuff skincare stuff that i use quite a lot over here we have like everyday makeup stuff there's still some stuff in packets because i'm finishing up like uh, that mascara i'm finishing up a little one that i got in a gift in this for christmas and then i'm gonna use that like i said to you guys earlier i only use like a full face of makeup maybe two or three days a week in between then this is a concealer i was talking about i use it's really affordable it's from collection it's kind of faded away this one's almost gonna need replaced and um, but this stuff is amazing and i kind of just couple that with my tarte that stuff I was showing you earlier. Um, and that's kind of what my everyday makeup is. I've got a new sponge from Real Techniques because in the rubbish pile, there's one that I've thrown away. This is makeup that I will still use, but I don't use every day. So this is everything that I'm 100% keeping. This stuff I'm gonna go through again here as I put it back in the drawers, make a little decision on whether I'm gonna keep it or not. Um, I probably will, because I do use this stuff quite a lot. And I found my little beauty consultant badge from whenever I used to work at Superdrug whenever I was going through all this stuff. Now on to other stuff so here we have perfumes that I'm keeping they haven't gone off they're totally fine most of them I got for Christmas so those are okay those are gonna get tidied away. This is kind of like little hair bobbles, mirrors, jewellery that I'm gonna go through here as I put back in the drawers but I think most of it's fine and from those grey drawers that I showed you this is the stuff that I'm keeping. So like you've seen how hectic those were. This is empties. So this is stuff that I have used up almost completely. This stuff's amazing. As you can see, I've got a new bottle in the other bit. Um, this is stuff that I did use and that it's all empty. I don't know why I have my D-Manos tablet sitting there. Um, they help keep UTIs away and stuff like that. Yeah, we've got my makeup brushes, which are totally fine. There's nothing needs changed about those. I've gone through those multiple times. They're all good. Then we're on to this little pile, which is all testers that I'm gonna put away neatly. I'm gonna go through these and make use of them because why not? These are from Tarte. These are like under eye things. We've got a little face mask there, keeping that stuff. And then this is just crazy. This is the pile of stuff that is either out of date, it's past its little, like I was telling you about this earlier, I'll show you. So say for example, we've got this stuff, which was pretty good. I just didn't use, use it every day. They have this little tiny, thing that says nine months 12 months 24 months it'll be different for everything once that's up you really should not use it this is stuff that i just 
has gone past its sell by like a lot of it is used like say this naked palette i used a lot um but it's it's dead now so this stuff is all rubbish all been you go through there's sun cream there's bits bobs like it is actually crazy the amount of stuff here so this is my pile of stuff to go in the bin so again this is why i recommend you get everything out you look at it you see what you have you see how excessive it is for one face you have one face like you do not need this amount of stuff so what i'm gonna do now is tidy this all away and i'll show you guys what everything is looking like once that's done. So we are just about done. I am really, really, really happy this time. Even more happy than when I done the wardrobe, but the way this has turned out. So I am now super, super happy with how this has turned out. I'll show you where I've kind of moved and put everything. So this was all perfumes and bits and bobs and nicks and knacks, but because I got room in those drawers, um, I'll show you those in a minute, I was able to put all my perfumes there. So now this is only skincare. So this is my little like skincare station and obviously my deodorant and stuff like that too. I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out. It's my makeup brushes and stuff, like I have bigger ones in this one, smaller ones in this one, and this is just like little everyday eyeliners and knickknacks and tweezers and all those bits and bobs. That is a significant amount different than it was earlier. Here we have this stuff which is pretty much all of the eye palettes and contour palettes I am left with after you've seen that huge amount of piles. This this is what it's whittled down to really. So I'm really really super happy about that. So I'll show you what I've done here with these drawers. If you remember what it liked before I'll do a little flashback now. And this is what they look like now. So this one, I've done like a little everyday drawer. So this has got my little tart palette I use every day and um, that we concealer I was telling you about every day, a little blusher, maybe Real Techniques sponges. So I'm really happy with how that looks now. This is what I will down in my eye collection. So this is um, sort of different little eyeliners for different looks. Um, some eyeshadows I have left, my eye primer, which I'm still using, and some little like glitter pop eyeshadows and eyeliners that I really like. Then down here, this is my face and lips. So some face stuff, some Becca cosmetics stuff, and that's all that's left in the lips. And down here is my little drawer for my testers. I'm gonna go through these and try and use some of them and my little face mask and bits and bobs. Now this I'm super happy with. I'll maybe pull this out so you can see it a little bit better. Um, we're kind of losing light now. It's getting a little bit later in the afternoon. So these are still my boxed up eyeliners and uh, mascara for whenever I use the ones I'm using. I fit my little curler in there. These are those two tart things I use every day. Um, my lipsticks are really easy to see now. So these are the colors that I would reach for most often. They're all gosh ones, they're very super similar. The foundations that I use quite a lot. Then we've got my locket spray, these lip balms. This is the lipstick that I was wearing today, the RMS Beauty uh, Wild With Desire, I think it's called, uh, brain teaser. I absolutely loving this. It's all natural, organic. Um, I'm trying to replace this stuff slowly but surely with all natural and organic makeup and skincare, but that is definitely a journey. It's not something that you do all at once. And I went through a phase where I got loads of natural organic foundations, powders, stuff like that. And I really wasn't happy with a whole lot of them. So I'm still finding out what I'm happy with. And I know maybe I'll talk to you guys about that in another video. Here we have powders. It's my RMS Beauty Um Powder, which I'm gonna switch to and use more of whenever this is finished. This is a Kat Von D one. Now these drawers are totally different, they're basically empty now, so this one I was able to make a little essential oil drawer really, so I've got like all my stuff is from Fishy, I absolutely love them, I think I talked about them in a vlog post, uh, I absolutely love their stuff, we've got empty ones now, empty, and um, this one I've still got jewellery and stuff, it's a little bit neater, but those are just um, nose rings and stuff in case I need them, a little necklace. That's kind of all my jewellery really now. Um, there's some knickknacks and stuff that I wanted in here. That's like all the little knickknacks, it's not too bad. And here I still kept my hair bobbles, cuticle sticks, like that's just stuff that's handy to get to. So those are all in there. So, so I'm really, really happy with how this is looking now. So over to these drawers, the dreaded drawers. I got rid of so much stuff. I will give you a little flashback of what these look like. 
these are so different now. This is basically a little perfume drawer for me. I tried to clean these as best I could, but some of that stuff wouldn't come out. But uh, yeah, I kept my perfumes and stuff in there. So they're really handy to get to. In here, I've got that travel thing for my toothbrush because I want to keep that. Just some nail polish remover. Uh, that little makeup bag I use whenever uh, I go traveling, put my makeup in it. And then in here, we have just like my little foot thing, razor, bits, bobs, um, not that much. And then this one. Is now totally empty. It even has a little old silica gel packet in it, which I should remove. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Don't forget if you want to keep up to date with this series, if you want to watch my other videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell notification beside it too. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you're clearing anything out, if you're going through anything, if you had more than you thought or less than you thought of certain things. Just let me know, I'm always interested in that stuff. And pretty soon we're gonna dive a little bit more into why we're doing this kind of thing. What's the point? What has it done for you? What's it done for you mentally? All that kind of stuff. I am going to get to that, so please do stick around. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next upload. Bye. I'll raise a glass to you And you'll raise a glass to me And when they're half full Top them up with whiskey